Hello everyone and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, where we're trying to figure out why the ringmaster called Max into his office to talk. Max said it was to negotiate salary, but we found out that that was done over a week ago. So now we've got to figure out what other reason he could have been called in. I think I, I think I figured it out between episodes. This is actually a new, new recording session, so it's been a week. Um, I think I figured out the reason. Uh, well, that didn't help. If we go back to the office, maybe I can get something useful there. I think it has something to do with the fight. Um, because the... Crap, I can't think of the clown's name. Uh, Mo. Mo had said there was a fight... ...between Ben and Max. Yeah, this was a this was probably not the best spot for me to pause, unfortunately. Uh, what things do we have? Oh. Okay. I don't remember. I don't remember if I figured this out last week or not. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I know I know what that bottle is used for. So uh, back to the detention center. Let's try let's try something. Alright, I'm not gonna read through this first one because we did it already. Me with Russell. To negotiate salary. That's the truth, the whole truth. What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate salary. Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? Okay, so we presented the ringmaster's papers to show that he had already received a raise. That's. It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said that you received quite a raise. Is there a problem with being well compensated? Not with the compensation, just with the date. This is dated a week ago. Max, you finished your contract negotiations a week ago. F -f -f fabulous Alright, I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you. Why did he do that? Sorry, sweetie. That's private. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Um, Max, perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about. Well, not if I don't have to. Isn't this why the ringmaster called you into his room that night? Do I present... Ben? Or do I present the... I feel like if he had... I don't know. I think I'm gonna present the bottle. Isn't this why you were called to the ringmaster's room that night? Where did you get that? The cafeteria, but you already knew that, didn't you? Of course. You fell and broke on the floor. He's still hiding something else. Max. What is it, my sweetie? It didn't fall and break on the floor. You use this bottle to... Ah! Take that! Beat Ben over the head. But ben. You nailed him over the head with this bottle, didn't you? Yup. And that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room that night. Fabulous! You might as well be a magician. Alright, so... Tell me about the meeting with Russell. The truth is, yesterday morning during breakfast we had a run-in. You mean you had a fight with Ben and the ventriloquist? You could put it that way. Why did you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. Who we fought about my sweetie pie. You mean Regina? That ill-bred creep told my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. Would you put up with that? Ill-bred, are you talking about the same Ben? Told her he was in love with her. Are you sure this is Ben we are talking about? All I can say is he made me mad and I had to tap him on his hard head. 
And that's when the ringmaster called me, and I realized that it was my ch and I realized it was my chance. Wait, what? Your chance? And that's when I went to his room and I laid it all out on the table. I asked him to let me marry my sweetie pie. What? The ringmaster told me that it sounds good to me. That's why my sweetie pie is my sweetie pie, and no one else's. Oh, I see. Since Ben was causing me so much trouble, I realized I had to shut him up. Shut him up? What? I'm trying to think, have we ever had to defend someone who just, like, wasn't a very good person? <laughs> I mean... The, the extra chapter of the first game, no one really had clean hands, but uh, Lana was, wasn't was a bad person. Like, I, I wouldn't characterize her as a bad person. Um, eh, Edgeworth, maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, this might be the first one. Um, what do you mean by shut him up? You don't know, do you, my sweeties? Trillo can't say a word. Not without Ben. Wait. Trillo? The puppet. The ventriloquist puppet. His real name is Trilloquist. But a puppet doesn't talk. I know, it's why I hid it. Before the police came and took me away, of course. That puppet started flapping off at the ball, so I'd be screwed. What? You hit him. You mean the ventriloquist puppet? You are so smart, sweetie. Um, where did you hide him? What, sweetie? You aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defense, are you? <laughs> ben does seem awfully lonely without his puppet. Fabulous, that should have taught him a lesson. Okay, I hid Trillo in the ringmaster's room. You don't mind going there and getting Trillo for me, do you, my sweets? No problem, none at all. Thank you, Max. You know I can't stand to see my sweeties in a jam. Don't go hiding puppets. Alright, so I guess I know what we need to do next. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, Ben's not here anymore. Yeah, I wanted to ask him something. It's cold out, he probably is, he's probably in the tent. Okay, uh, first... Stop distracting me before I forget where I need to go. What do you think, Nick? I wonder if we've been making any progress. Don't be so negative. Of course we are making progress. But everyone loved the ringmaster, and there's no sign of footprints on the scene. There's still a lot of mysteries left to be solved. Of course. And now Regina isn't here. Let's see how that's related. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. The seats are far away from the ring, but they make up for it with the amount of people that see a show. Hey Nick, do you think that if every person in the audience screamed all at once, the vibration they'd create could cause the big top to collapse? I'm glad I don't pay you to come up with this stuff. I thought I had looked at that already. And that. Uh oh. Hey look, that's where Max makes his grand appearance. It's grand alright. I want to try entering court like that. I don't know she'd say that. Um... I can't blame her. Oh, these lights are huge. If they fell from the ceiling, you'd be going to the circus in the sky. Life is so fragile, isn't it, Nick? You'd be snuffed out in an instant by a falling gargantuan lights. It's so fragile, I've decided to eat as much good food as I can before I die. Like hamburgers. Apparently you didn't notice the big sign that said closed by the snack stand. Ah, it's closed. Anything else? I know we looked... This is weird. I thought I looked at a lot of this stuff. I was wrong. Okay. I was going to the ringmaster's room. It looks the same as always. A big, great big mess. Considering how messy it is, I bet they wouldn't notice if another poster went missing. You just stop it, you poster pilferer. I'm just kidding. You know I already got one of these posters. You mean stole one of those posters. Yeah, uh, let's focus on what Max told us. He said that he hid Trillo somewhere in this room. Trillo. Oh, the ventriloquist puppet. Uh, okay. I don't... I don't see it. 
Uh, is it behind this thing? No. Body's makeup. Yeah, we saw this already. Sens sensitive enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. Uh, okay. Uh, behind the trophy case? Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Indeed, just look at all the awards the circus has won. Like, all county quiz champions, ringmasters association mini golf master, beer belly balloon bounce champ, pet grooming grand prix. Wow, the ringmaster was multi talented in ways I could have never imagined. Hmm? There's something shoved under the bookshelf. I was just going to say, I swear that we did all that already. This is. That's Trillo. That's Ben's puppet. I think you're right. We'll give it back to him later. Triloquist handed over to Maya. Ventriloquist puppet, an op operatic tenor who doubles as Ben's sidekick. Why do I have to carry this thing? <laughs> oh no, is Phoenix af- uh, are they both afraid of it? Uh, nothing going on here. The cafeteria. Oh, hey, Ben. Uh, 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 hello. Hello to you, too. It's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I, I do indeed. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? Let's see how talking about the weather is helping our case. Okay, uh, so present. Max of Ventriloquist, is this your puppet? Ah, Ben. This is yours, isn't it? Y yes, th th that's mine. Here you go. Philoquist returned to Ben. All right, Maya, let's get going. It's that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Uh, 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 okay. Wait. So, Nick, where are we going to go next? Let's see, maybe we should go talk to the clown once again. Hey, wait! Who said that? What is all oh, this is the this is the puppet. What are you looking at? I'm right here. You blind wench What's your problem anyway, you don't know how to properly greet someone Ben is that you Ben? No, 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 I would never it was me. Yeah me down here You you're Trillo That's mr. Quist to you sir Learn some manners before you just blurt out my name. Now try speaking to me again, but this time with some proper respect. Not again. <sighs> Mr. Quist. Is that better? No, look at me when I'm talking to you, you 8-bit excuse for an attorney. <laughs> oh, great. Trillin, we talked about insulting people. You promised. Whap, whap, whap. <laughs> I hate and love this at the same time. He was mocking me. Not being mean to bullies was not included in the deal. I'm sorry, Trello. Nick, what just happened? Trello is still a puppet, right? A ventriloquist puppet? Hey, who do you think you are calling me a puppet? Yes. Um, I'm a lawyer. Not that you'll care. Would you mind taking a look at this? Uh-oh, uh, uh, I... Oh. Okay. We're not getting anywhere. Yeah, I... Okay. How about the, the bottle that was used to crank him over the dome? Come on, he's got to have something to say about that. Nope. Okay. Then I guess we'll just talk. Tell us what you know about the murder. You talking to me? I said you talking to me. Don't look at me him when you're talking to me. Jellyquist, you behave, young man. Shut up, Woody. What murder are you talking about? You mean the one where they off the old man? I guess so. No need to make such a fuss about things. That old mutt paid us all peanuts. 
Stay loud. You can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Don't you have nerve pills or something to take right now? These two are really an odd couple, aren't they, Nick? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Graham's got clobbered over the head. Oh. Let me lay it all out for you. The pay sucks, the clown sucks, and my partner has his hand up my pants. Your partner? You mean Ben? Yeah, the creepy old guy who never finds it in himself to leave me alone. Tell him to back off for me, will you? He's just another one of those dorks around here. Oh, my. But I'll be fair. In this cesspool of human garbage masquerading as performers, I found my Madonna. Oh. You're... Madonna? <laughs> what? Regina, my lovely Regina. She is stunning, right, Ben? Well, I'm not sure if I would go that far. Wah, wah, wah. You'll have to excuse him. He does not understand of what he speaks. I, on the other hand, am an appreciator of true beauty. Hence why I shall marry her. M m marry I have oh so many questions. The ringmaster got knocked upside his cheap head by that flying fraud. You mean Max Galactica. Why do you say that? Shrill, I'll straighten up. Don't accuse people like that. Straighten up, I made of wood. Besides, you were there, you know what happened. You were there? Heh <laughs> heh. If you're that interested, then I'll let you in on the facts. Wait, I, wait uh, all right, marriage. Tell me about that. You, you're going to marry Regina? That's right. She doesn't quite realize the joy that awaits her, does she? I think I'm beginning to see why she seemed troubled. Well, she... I don't care. It's my choice, not her. Ooh, we're getting hitched. I know you think that, but... But what? I gave her a special gift. I gave her the wonderful gift of song. You gave her a song? Well, I am a renowned tenor. You'll be happy to know I've decided to grace you with one of my songs. Oh, God. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I, wa I want you to touch me. <laughs> I want you to kiss me. I want you to. <laughs> the rest is private. What? <laughs> Oh my. So it gets it gets worse than that. Well, um, the melody is pretty good. But those lyrics, I think they need a little work. Who asked you? I'm the artist here. Uh, um, thanks. Now that Trillo's here. Now that Trillo's here. Does that mean you can talk normally now? Hey, butt face. Eh. You must be looking forward to tomorrow, aren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Uh, you know, it's time to get rid of that pesky magician once and for all. What? Chichilla? Enough jibba jabba. Let's get to court already. Ah, hey, wait a second. Nick, what's going on? He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. Uh, oh, boy. Okay. Is there anything in here we need to look at? Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see if they're going to go with the obvious that uh, Max tried to, or uh, Ben tried to frame Max. Doesn't seem like that much of a stretch. It, it does feel a little too obvious, but... Hmm. What in the world happened with Ben and Trello? Quite a pair of those two. What did that puppet see anyway? Ooh. Oh no, now what? Ooh. Ah, yo! My attorney badge! Give it back. I will smite you where you stand. Give me my attorney badge. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Nick. That monkey. Ah, my badge. That monkey stole it. What? Oh, uh, what was her voice? I don't remember. <laughs> Mr. Turdy, that face is so cute. You look so completely dumbfounded. Regina. 
You, that monkey. Hey, no need to get angry, okay? But, but my attorney's badge. But don't worry, I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so. If I don't get my badge back, how can I flash it? Uh, yes. By the way, that monkey's name is Money. Money the monkey. His name is Monk Money? Uh. Alright, tell me more about Money the Monkey. The monkey is called Money? Yes. Oh, the rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Mind if I get that back? Let's see what I can do. Even I have money problems. Ooh. Eh? Oh, whenever Money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, I guess I'll just have to find out where money disappeared to. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. He might know. Huh? You don't know? Well, money isn't exactly someone I am on friendly terms with. What? He's not really the kind of animal I work with, even if he does need taming. Oh, I see. Go to Mo's. Hmm. I guess it is time that I revisit that kooky clown. Uh, tell me about Ben and Trillo. Do you mind telling us a bit about Ben? Not uh, Ben. You mean the guy that is always hanging around with Trillo? What do you mean, hanging around? Oh, well, he was there when Trillo told me he was in love with me. Trillo told you he was in love with you? Yes, he did. Kind of cute, don't you think? He's so smart, and he's such a wonderful singer. I love him. Uh... Look, even if it is Ben, this is already playing out way differently than I could have ever imagined. But what about Ben? But what about Ben? He's got nothing to do with me loving Trillo. Like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of the circus. <laughs> I got that reference. Regina, you were proposed to, weren't you? I proposed to? Nope, that won't be for a while. Huh, really? That's strange, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, Max and Trilla both said otherwise. They said they asked for her hand in marriage. Ah, but Max only talked to the ringmaster about it. I forgot about that. He asked the ringmaster for her hand, not Regina directly. So I guess Trilla hasn't asked her directly yet. Oh, what? He's going to propose to me? I'm so confused. How about you, Maya? Huh, what? Who do you think I should go for, Max or Trillo? Wait, wait. You do realize that Trillo is... a... puppet? Huh. I don't care that he's a bit stiff. Oh, boy. Um, can I have my attorney's badge? I'd like that back. Uh, what can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at figuring out hard things. Really, you two? I understand exactly what you mean. Never expected Mai to make a new friend in a strange place like this. Okay. That didn't get us anywhere. Do you know how Max flies in the sky like he does? I do know. Want me to tell ya? You know? Uh-huh, <laughs> but you have to keep it a secret. Eh, so here's how it works. Wow, that's incredible. Oh, don't pout, Nick. <laughs> we were just teasing you. I don't know a thing about magic. Sorry we tricked you, Nick. Uh... Nothing? All right. I, did, I didn't have high hopes for that. Okay. I'm pretty sure we've shown her everything else. I want my attorney's badge back. We'll do that in the next episode. Next episode, we're getting that badge back. In before six hour episode of us trying to get our attorney's badge back. All right, that's gonna do it for me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.